candidates to office. People are asking why we want to go into office. From pledges Nairobians have had before to new ones, before it launches its manifesto, the Jubilee duo of Mike Sonko and Polly Kapigade published a document which they say chronicles all that is wrong in the management of the county and some of the steps they will take to make Nairobi better. One of them is the cancellation of some contracts they say have not been of benefit to the county, such as the revenue collection system EGGP which uses a mobile platform. And we are saying that contract is too expensive. There's nothing illegal, they were, maybe they negotiated very well, but you can imagine, if you pay parking 300 shillings, there's somebody who wants 14 shillings 50 cents and then remits the money. So the Nairobi County collects its revenue through a third party company, which should remit their money in 72 hours, but they do it over a month. And that's why salaries in the county of Nairobi have been even paid late. The two accuse the incumbents of borrowing too much and using the allocation they get on paying salaries, leaving nothing for development. They say they will use at least a third of the revenue they get for development. While the county has a huge staff which takes up the money for salaries, Sonko and Igave say they will not be reducing the number if they get elected. There is almost over 300 ghost workers in the county of Nairobi. We are going to retain the 15,000 workers who are in the county of Nairobi. Bottlenecks are always at the top of the bottle. The governor knows that there are very hardworking people in the county of Nairobi in the city. But corruption has been at the top. The duo also says that it will change the system of garbage collection, removing it from the hands of companies that control it and have it done by the county. It is the responsibility of the county to collect this garbage. So instead we are going to create employment. We are going to employ youths who will be collecting this garbage from the estates. There is no need of incurring an extra cost while we have that capacity of employing uh, youths from Nairobi to give them employment to go and get this garbage. There is even a more grand pledge, one that residents of Nairobi have had before, giving the Dandora dump site to an investor who will use the waste to generate energy and recycle the rest. Aside from the grand promises of his time in office, the senator also says that he has done his bit to oversight the county government, especially on matters of corruption. He also claims to have helped many vulnerable individuals and institutions to repossess grabbed land. Andrew Ochieng, NTV.